Have you heard this saying, knowledge is power? Yes. Raise your hand if you heard that saying before. Is knowledge power, yes or no? Yes. No. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> knowledge is potential power. It's what you do with it. You know, um, I'm sure a lot of you in this room actually already, like when I show you some of this stuff, you go, oh, John, I already know that. Okay, you know it, but if you're not doing it, you don't know it. Would you agree, yes or no? And so you could all tell me right now, like I'm on this journey of uh, trying to get a six pack, right? I got a one pack at the moment. So I'm going to the gym. If you've been following me on Instagram, you see me going to the gym. And um, I already know how to lose weight. You, already, you all know how to lose weight and get in shape, yes or no? You, you tell me the formula. It's a two-step formula. One is you what? Diet. Diet. Eat, have a right diet. Eat less. All right. Number two is you exercise. exercise. But is it like, let's take the first one, diet, right? So I'm sitting there, steak and chips, salad. Apple, chocolate gato. Right? Water. And those of you that drink wine or beer, I, I don't drink alcohol, but you know, it's like, which one? It's so it's so, so a part of all this is discipline. What's the word? Discipline. So part of wealth is mastering self. And the problem is you all have this voice inside your head that talks you out of stuff. My job over the next two days is to reprogram the way your mind talks to yourself, that talks you out of it because your mind knows all your biggest weaknesses. It knows um, how to trick you into not doing work. It'll always take the easy route out. You don't believe me? So you probably relate to this. You get up in the morning, you're at the gym, and you're like, oh, you know, I want to get up to go to the gym. And your voice will say, you know what? Just stay in bed for five more minutes. It's really cold outside. Then, and then your voice will say, Anyway, you went to the gym yesterday, <laughs> right? Raise your hand if you've got some voices like this. <laughs> same thing for business, same thing for entrepreneurship, right? I can tell you hand on heart that the, the one thing that will stop you from succeeding is this f word fear. What does it stand for? False evidence appearing real. Do you know that 99% of everything that you worry about doesn't actually materialize? Right? You think, oh, well, what if I do that and this happens? It never happens, 1% of the time. It's, you see, when we're in fear, we're living in the future. Right? We're living the future. We cannot achieve anything living in the future. We must live in the present. Present time, which is now. This fear, if we could get rid of fear and pull that out of our life, do you think we could achieve more, yes or no? Yes. Of course we can. But it's the thing that stops us from doing it. So part of wealth is controlling self, controlling how we think, right? And it's also to do with our health as well. I believe that health is wealth, right? So those of you who are not in shape, you don't have good energy, a lot of people say, John, how come you got so much good energy? It's because... I'm putting the right stuff into my body and I'm doing the right things and I'm managing energy. A lot of people say, oh, I want to manage time. No, don't manage time. Manage your energy. Yes or no? When you manage your energy, then you can achieve things in life. 